gathering the supplies I need, I have Kentucky Parasoy Tart and Votive Wax. I have the uh, Sinus Relief Fragrance Oil from Indigo Fragrances. I have some Sinus Relief Bath Tea from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have some plastic clamshells from Fillmore Container. And of course we have our Pyrex cup, a spoon, a scale. We'll also need a thermometer. I'm using an infrared. I just got mine at just Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't remember which one. The first thing we need to do is melt down our wax. Now I'm going to use my Presto pot that's been fitted with a valve for today because it's easy to fill it up with wax and let it come to the right temperature and hold it throughout the day until I'm ready to use it instead of the back and forth with the microwave. You also can use the microwave and melt it in short increments until you get to the proper temperature. You can also use a double broiler and a pour pot until you get to the proper temperature. I need to heat this to 165 degrees, so I'm probably just gonna switch this out and I will be back with melted wax. All right, so my wax is right at 165 degrees. I have 24 ounces of wax. I'm going to tear out my scale there. Oh, it smells so good. If you enjoy Vapo rub. All right, so now I have to add 2.4 ounces of fragrance. It's hard to see this going the other direction here. So 2.4 ounces of frank. I now want to stir this for two minutes. I am making a sinus relief version. I just love this scent. It smells uh, like vapor rub, and it is a blend of eucalyptus, camphor, and mint. This is one of my favorites. I just can breathe it in, take deep breaths. Not making any medical claims, of course. I use it for fragrance. The temperature now is at 149.3, shifting a little bit to 150 and back. This is the pour temperature, it is 150. Uh, it says you can pour. It actually says two different things. It says 155 to 160, and then another spot it says pour it should be between 150 and 160. So I'm just gonna take my little clamshells. Now the reason why I especially use a glass container is I feel like it is much easier to pour than it is with the pour pot. So it is just my preferred method of Pouring. I'm just going to start in. Just be gentle so it doesn't splatter all over the place. I find these will hold between 2.5 and 3 ounces. Like we can try to add one more. Okay, so this filled up nine pretty perfectly. See, I just dripped right there. I'll have to go clean that off. I have a little bit extra. I will just pop this in the microwave and then just pour it out into like a little silicone mold or something and that's something that I will use. I try to be very cautious about selling um, any product that goes up and down in temperature and so I tend to just use the little extra for myself. So we just need to wait for these to cool a little bit. Otherwise if we go ahead and put the tea in it tends to just like sink down in so I'm just going to give it a little bit to cool and then we'll come put on the bath tea. For cleanup, I try to scrape every last little bit out that I can with some, with a, like a little silicone scraper. 
and it doesn't take much then just to wipe it clean. I'll spray with a little alcohol. So I have it sprayed with some alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe it clean. And then I will spray with alcohol again for a sanitize or I will um, hand wash. It looks like it's a good time to go ahead and add in the little bath teas. It doesn't really need much. We don't want a bunch of gunk in our melters. It's just for looks. It does cool very quickly. My room is a little bit cool, cooler today than I would prefer. So I'm actually, these are getting solidified a little bit quicker than I was ready for. But it's fine. And these will push down too. I'm gonna go to close it. Let these continue to cool completely before close them up, clean them up, close them up, and slap a label on them. The wax melts have now cooled off. It's time to close them up. This wax does best with a two week cure. And then they'll be ready to melt in an approved wax melter. As these wax melts are for home fragrance, simply open up the container. They pop out quite easily. You can snap off the desired piece, returning the others. Snap. Put them in your approved wax warmer. Turn it on and melt and enjoy the fragrance release.